Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is the flip side. And before I begin, I just want to say that first off, I'm back, and this time more grammatically co correct and more calm in the head. And uh, first, I just want to say why I haven't uploaded in so damn long. And it's not my fault at all, I swear. Um, my grandmother had breast cancer, and she just had it removed, thank God. And on Thursday, she's starting her first chemo, their chemotherapy. And it's been uh, really stressful for everyone in my family, and life's pretty much been hell for a while. I'm getting my high school results in probably within this week. And everything is happening at <laughs> once. So when I saw this game came out, it was sort of like, uh, really made me happy because, well... I can finally just be happy for once. I mean, I've been playing a lot of Majora's Mask 3D lately and Smash Bros. I even have the new Majora's Mask 3DS, the really rare one, and I'm really happy about that. But it's just that I've always been, I've been so worried about everything. So I'm just gonna try to forget about that and I'm gonna cut the sets, all that crap, and I'm gonna get to what you guys actually want to know. I think I'm starting to understand the game a bit more. So when they say ventilation system, as in it can malfunction, because the guy said everything can malfunction, it's old. So apparently what happens is, uh, he said that, uh, dang it. Um, like the ventilation system, it's not whether you can close them down, it's whether you can actually breathe. I knew it, I knew it. I had it. That's why my vision was fading after Balloon Boy would let leave. I was, like, and that's another thing. It's not Balloon Boy. It's a hallucination. But it's not like that stupid ghost hallucination or no reason at all hallucination. You're hallucinating because you can't breathe. It makes so much sense. When your ventilation system fails, you can only tell two ways. Either you'll tell you in the cameras and you have to go to it, or on the screen where it all functions, so you know. But instead of... Maybe like the camera system isn't working, and it doesn't tell you when the ventilation always malfunctions. You start to hallucinate, and you see Balloon Boy, and that's the game telling you, Hey, dumbass, you're about to suffocate. And if you gotta go on too long, the blaring red lights that come on will attract him over to you. Plus the fact that you will probably die of asphyxiation. And you have to keep him away by keeping the sound played, obviously. Keep them by advancing with the closing the vents. Uh, you obviously have to monitor him. And I and honestly, I don't know why the main character hallucinates about Balloon Boy in particular. Because, well, uh, I don't know why he hallucinates about Balloon Boy in particular. Because the only time he's ever seen Balloon Boy was most likely in that box sitting on his room. And that's probably the least scary thing there. So why would he halluc Why would he care about Balloon Boy? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Maybe it's just to get our asses moving to get the vents. And also the way that the camera, like you have to, let's say that you see whatever his name is on the left. I'm not calling him Springtrap, that's just a fan name. Um, all the way on the left, you have to go to the right to make him go away. It's ingenious. It really is. It's, I love it. And this guy can just kill you whenever he wants. It's not like cameras or any of that crap. He'll kill you whenever he feels like it. Whenever he's close. And it just makes so much sense now. Everything is gameplay wise is starting to come together a little. And I've done a bit of research and the the night one minigame that we saw is an exact copy of the first reg restaurant from the first game. But there was a room to the right that was sealed off. That room was not there in the first game. I'm gonna pull up a map of the first game right now. Hang on. And, of course, that happened. Okay, I'm just going to open up another one. Now, uh, you won't be able to see it, but let me just... It's just for my own reference. Okay, screw it. Who cares? Okay, there. Uh, images. Map. So, yeah, you see, there's a... Uh, the restroom's here, and the exit is back here, and the, 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 there's an extra boarded off room over here. 
that bore it off from was the room that was like closed off when I was following Shadow Freddy. And he must have been trying to lead me to the exit. He's trying to lead the animatronics to freedom. But then Purple Guy comes. Maybe the reason that air is because we're not allowed to leave the facility. But that means that Shadow Freddy is more than an animatronic. This is contradicting and supporting my theory at the same time. And I have no idea where Purple Guy fits into all of this. But at this point, it's very early. The game was released less than two hours ago. But on that note, in the words of Kate Johnson, let's solve this thing. I have a better idea of how the gameplay works. I should be able to do better. Also, I listened on. Okay, I'll shut up. Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we got a vintage audio train cassette. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like train days for like other employees or something like that. Hello? So, I'm not gonna like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the station. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise <laughs> for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 can I go, man? Uh, well, well, look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. So there are 15 cameras. Oh, That's oh, what oh. everyone's going on about. Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer <laughs> for a friend of Fast Bear and Pizza. Uh, these pets will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double as both animatronic and suit. So you can pay close attention while learning how to operate these suits as accidents, slash injury, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First of all, discuss how to operate the mascot when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn it off for sound ease. This is an easy and hands free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment by the crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic part around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb the side. Please make sure the spring locks are fast and tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail in tomorrow's session. Remember to smile. You are the face of the great bad parents. Okay, so I gave the audio recordings a few more listens. And, uh... I gave them a few more listens, and I understand that apparently these animatronics are also, um... You can actually. Oh, what's this? It's on, never mind. And, uh. So. I can't talk. <laughs> I don't get what audio error means. I mean, clearly the audio is still working. I'll have to figure that out later. Oh, is that him over there? Yeah, that's him right there. Isn't he cute? Anyway, so if he's there, then I should probably close off this camera. Because that goes, like, straight to my door. Oh, that's not good. I love how you have to reboot it. So, apparently, all of these, are uh, the <laughs> there he is. Okay, he's over there. Okay, he's there. So apparently, the that suit also doubles as a uh, animatronic. It's actually both. Hello. So maybe if we could like ever find the the thing that the guy's talking about on them, maybe we'd be able to uh like. Hi. Oh, hello. 
hello? Oh, that's good, that's good. I thought he was getting close to me. He's probably over here now, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I got you! I got you! I sealed off that vent. You tried to get up to me, guess what? I sealed that vent. I sealed that sucker. I'm too smart for you. This is only night two. What am I talking about? So maybe if we can find the alleged uh, thing that this guy is talking to. Yes, the alleged thing that this guy is talking to. Then maybe we could actually make this guy into a harmless suit. I don't know. My guess is as good as yours at this point. Hi. Okay, well, he's back there. You see, we got this. It's 5 a.m. I'm not even trying it. I heard vent noises. Yeah, what you gonna do, baby? It's closed! It's closed! <laughs> He's not there anymore. I don't know if this guy could teleport like Bonnie did in the first game. Hi. thing yeah <laughs> what are you gonna do what are you gonna do that door is locked you keep trying to come this way you never learn this door is locked locked down for good <clears throat> no power to tell me how long I can keep these doors closed I'm gonna keep these doors closed as long as I want it's so stupid night too I didn't even notice so yeah, I'm gonna try my best to show you this actually is the uh, original restaurant, and apparently there's a thunderstorm and it's leaking. So this place is obviously very decrepit, very old. It's probably been left to rot here for God knows how long. If it's like rats everywhere leaking, that's Pirate Cove right here. This is Pirate Cove. Foxy's right here, and that was the parts room back there. There's the cupcake. Why are there cupcakes there? And what was that black thing on the floor? So yeah, here's the office. Guys, Bonnie's in the office. Mike Schmidt, prepare yourself. Everything is starting to make sense. This is where Freddy would, like, camp in 2020-2020 until I did the thing where the hit clock hit six. And this is must be the thing where they intersect. We've never seen this hallway before, I think. Oh, never mind. That's just a dining hall. My bad. Yeah, this is just the original place. Anyways, I'm gonna follow Shadow Freddy now. That's weird. Why isn't he here? Okay, there he is. Yeah, the bathrooms would normally be like down. Okay, Freddy's corpse. How delightful. And the bathrooms are sealed off. Wow. So yeah, there's Freddy's corpse. And this is the extra sealed off room the guy was talking about. Is that where it is? Where it comes from? <laughs> Purple guy's taking his revenge on these animatronics for killing him. <laughs> yeah, um, I got this, guys. Alright, let's listen. Of what he said, I'm gonna have to Hi. listen to that again. But he 
he said that there's an extra room that's not in the digital maps. There's an extra room somewhere that the animatronics can see, but I can't. Can I just say I love this game, I love this game, I love this game. I was praising you, whatever your name is. This is going to be a fun night. Homework's done. Not a care in the world for the rest of the night. Seems like as long as he's convinced by the sounds of the later nights, at least. Hello. I'm just assuming that's just to be safe, because that's what saved me last time, let's be honest here. So I was sort of right about closing the doors to keep him from coming to you. It's more like he's closing the vent doors to keep him coming from coming to you. Hello. Oh, there you are. Aren't you adorable? Yeah, goodbye. You're still... Actually, he poses a threat now, because he's getting a bit close to my lair. And yes, it was necessary for me to make a Portal 2 reference in this game. Don't judge me. Oh, crap. Okay, no, I'm gonna play the sound first. I learned my lesson. Hi. Oh, great, now both. Perfect. I'm assuming it'll be faster to reboot them individually than reboot all, because I only need to fix the ventilations. Because I learned my lesson last time. He got me, like, instantly last time. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Hello. Flipside smarter you think. Whatever your name is. Ah, oh, crap. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. No, I need to make a sound first. I need to make a sound. Oh, but I don't have much time. <laughs> Quickly, before I die. Oh, God, that's not good. He's gonna come. Oh, shh. I ungoofed, I ungoofed. Quickly. Hi. <laughs> oh, for the love of God. You gotta do this to me. Oh, it actually does affect the audio. I... He's in the vents. But I should be safe for most of them for a while. I know that the closest vent is going to take him some time to get to me. And by that I mean two seconds, by that I mean two seconds. Hi. I'm probably a dead man. But I told you, I told you, sealing off that other vent was the best idea I've had in a while. No, I know it was not what it was. <laughs> my reactions are priceless. It's times like this I wish I could record my face. I'll give it one more shot. I can tell at this point it's more skill than the game. I'm doing good. I mean, I'm not doing good. The game. I understand the game. I'm just not doing good. Hello. But you see, I would have been an instantly dead man if I had sealed off the. That's why he was speaking up from there, because that's where the other vent is. <laughs> You know, I don't know what it is. He won't go to, he won't travel too far, because he won't be able to hear it all the way across the restaurant. There's only so far I can lower him. Oh my god, I'm figuring this out. Okay, I don't know where he is now. But that's my best bet. I probably just missed him, didn't I? Is that him? No, it's not him. He'll be peeking in through the door. I know now. <laughs> I want to lure him there. No, I don't want to lure him there. Turns out I actually don't want to lure him there. Because my audio went out right just then. Oh, happy days. I have to keep tabs on where he is so that I know where I can lure him. Because he won't go if it's too far. But how would I know? That's the thingy. My jiggins. I bet that I can't even lure him that far at all. Hello. 
Oh, come on. It's okay, no sirens going off, no sirens going off. Everything's gonna be alright. There, see? No, no sirens. My life isn't in danger. My life is probably in danger. The thing is, I don't know where he is. He's in the vent. Right there. Actually, I was able to see that vent. Anyways, I'm gonna practice more off screen, so this is the flip side and I feel smart. <laughs> <laughs>